second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And, partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. Again on second and ten, it's Lawrence. Open man is Kirk, complete. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Now Lawrence to throw. Screenplay. Here's ETN. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It goes as a gain of eight that moves the chains. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and ten. They'll look to throw again. And now here is another interception. Picked off by Juwan Bentley. And the Patriots are going to take possession of the football. Yet another mistake after the interception there. And gosh, you look up at the scoreboard, they just got to be thinking this one cannot get over fast enough. It certainly can't. And also what happens when you get this big of a deficit, you're supposed to make all the right throws, right? You're supposed to try and obviously get the ball to your own guys. But being down this big, you also take even more chances. And in this situation, and he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. And quickly, they get to the line. To try again after the sack. Jones over the middle complete. It's Henry. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. This one probably not the close game you would expect or hope to see in prime time, CD. But, of course, that wasn't their intent in preparing for this one. They said they felt like their offense was ready to put up some points. And, my goodness, it has been a dominant display in front of a national audience. Yeah, they thought it. And it certainly came to fruition, didn't it? They've been dominant in so many ways in this one. If you weren't paying attention to this group before, you certainly are now after seeing this type of victory from them. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. On the give, this is Harris. He's going to get four out of this as he's down to the 10-yard line. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down, you're set up very well for the rest of the drive. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Looking to throw. Jones. And this one complete to Smith. Touchdown, Patriots. Jalu Smith from 10 yards out. And the Patriots continue to pour it on here in the fourth. Full connects on the extra point. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. 
And they'll bring it out to the 25 as Agnew elects for the touchback. Jacksonville set to go again offensively. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. <laughs> All right, guys, you had your fun? All right, throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Back to throw. Lawrence. He'll connect on the out route with Ingram. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Lawrence, now this is ETN on the draw. And he's going to be stopped here a few yards short of the first as the tackle is made at the 33. Here's Logan Cook now, as he'll come on for his fifth kick of the night. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. A punt of 46, a return of five. And they will take over first and 10. New England trying to get to place on offense. We've paid this offense plenty of compliments already, but I mean, they are deserving as they start another series to be leading by this much with so much time left to play in the fourth. Charles, it's really, really been impressive to watch. It has been, and you have to think to yourself, the preparation that went into this, but the absolute focus that they kept throughout in order to have this kind of a result, this is Super Bowl-esque, and they've got to feel awfully good about what they put out there today. And he's going to have a Patriots first down as he's got this past the 35 to about the 37. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. From the 40 now on second down, Jones. And the Jags get to him as down he goes. It's a loss of a yard, so they'll wind up crediting it with a sack, and it brings up third down. So the Patriots with the football as we get you reset. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. 48, 48, come on. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. And he's going to be taken down at the 39, clearly short of the first by a few yards. And set up shop in enemy territory at the 45-yard line. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. And the question. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. Pilardi now on to punt as he sends this one away. Uh, did they keep it in? They did. They kept it in. It's down close to the goal line. The one -yard line. Amazing. Perfectly placed. If that ball goes one extra yard, maybe not even an extra yard, the starting point is the 20. So there is a reason that a lot of punters are also excellent golfers. They know distance control. You know what else they have? Same groove motion over and over. Once they have that down, it repeats under pressure. They throw right away, and that's complete out on the right side. So just three yards on the completion there, and it'll be second down. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches, as we just saw him do there, because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll shred a defense. Man open here is Jones. And they work this out past the 25. That third down 
conversion, good for 23. Offense for them has been at a premium. You wonder where plays like that have been all game long. They're thinking the exact same thing themselves, but they're also looking forward now because now these plays are really for next week, trying to get some momentum going. Again is Lawrence looking middle and it's incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. So now they'll come up on second and ten once again from the 28. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlines. But and now it appears that the referee's been buzzed, and we'll get a review. And this being inside two minutes of play, everything coming from up above. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I, I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. So the officials and the folks in New York got a second look at this one, and the call is going to be overturned. Throwing again here, it's Lawrence. And now another one thrown incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone, and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Here's Jones on the return. That'll go as a 39-yard punt, getting nine on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. Well, they don't need to score here, that's for sure. They could just kneel it. They've got the huge lead late fourth quarter, but we'll see how they're feeling, Charles. Yeah, we all know people out there who like to use every second of the clock, no matter what the score. And we know they don't need the points. They've scored an abundance already. Let's find out how they want to finish this ball game. And they'll indeed take a knee. Fans usually love to see scoring, and there was no shortage of it today. What a dominant showing from an offense that was truly playing at an elite level in this contest. Partner, this game was over a long time ago, and you noticed they did not want to slow down anything. Absolutely a dream scenario for everyone on that offense, and they took advantage of every second. Guaranteed popcorn for everyone in their film session. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. From Jacksonville, good night, everybody.